all right everybody this is Mehul and welcome to your 36th Google Chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial what we will be learning is about sending variables to your executing script now by that what I mean is let's say you have a useful variable you grabbed inside your background script anything you want you can get only from background script let's say you want to get a uh, URL of your local file from here and you want to pass it inside the script you are gonna execute so how would you do that well one way is to use make use of messaging but if you don't want to make use of messaging then what you can do is <coughs> you can actually um, make this code run before your script runs so that that variable is accessible here let's say you want to pass the string one two three four five and let's say you want to alert here the same variable which you are using here well that won't work because the script execution environment of script.js and background.js are completely different but there's a simple hack you can say to overcome this and what is that is you could actually run a script before this so you can do like code var information equals information and a semicolon and once this code is executed then as a callback code you want to run this one so if you see what I'm doing here is first of all I'm executing this code var information which is information which would just create the same thing right here which I have and you can better enclose that in quotes if you want if you have a string because it numbers it would it would work fine but with string it would create a problem so our information information would give us this and then what we can do is we can execute this code right here once this code is execution is complete so here I'm just doing alert information so let's try it out once so here's my browser and let's reload the page and let's click on the icon so you see the page at, at https google.co.in says 12345 it's not the background script that's alerting it's the google which is being alerted by this script so that's a useful way to make use of chrome.tabs.execute script and that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then